Flow Cytometry Resource offers numerous flow cytometry services. You can use the staff-assisted and unassisted flow cytometry sample analyzers, as well as the cell sorters. It's important to note that all new users are required to attend our comprehensive training program. The training program will allow you to maximize the efficiency of your data collection and minimize instrument downtime. Our staff is also available to offer experimental design consultation and help you choose your fluorophores. proteins as a molecular delivery agents, predominantly for cancer targeting, but also for other diseases. Um, and we're aiming to identify proteins that will be as efficient um, and therefore as effective as possible for targeting cancer biomarkers, predominantly for molecular imaging purposes, but also for molecular therapy and also fundamental uh, biology, cancer biology. And so we're interested in um, analyzing millions to billions of different protein molecules to find the ones that have the phenotypes that we are interested in that will perform uh, optimally in vivo inside the, can in, inside the cancer patients. And so we use a technology called the U-Surface Display in conjunction with flow cytometry to sort through very, very rapidly these many, many different protein variants to find the ones that are the most effective. And there are a variety of ways to do that, but flow cytometry is the most powerful way because you get very quantitative information about about 100 million molecules per hour using the uh, analyzers and the sorters to enable us to not only analyze the different phenotypes of the protein molecules, but also then identify and also pull out the ones that we want to study further. We can pull out the yeast cell, which enables us to pull out the DNA that encodes for that protein of interest. And it's that linkage between the function and the DNA that encodes it that really enables it to be a very high throughput uh, technique for us. His work with yeast seemed really um, uh, exciting and, and different than things we had really been doing a lot in the core. Uh, so it was good to get some, something like that into the facility and get familiar with it, with my staff, learning more about it. Um, and that actually would work well on the instruments we had. That was a question that we needed to answer as well to uh, make sure that it, the work would uh, be appropriate for him. Um, and it turned out to work really well. Um, a lot of people in his group were doing projects. Um, and getting trained by us to use the equipment. They started on some of the older equipment we had and switched over to some new equipment that we acquired, which we hoped would be uh, uh, amenable to, to continuing the work, and it, and it turned out to be, uh, to be true. Um, and then they also subsequently started using our cell sorting services uh, to actually retain some of, the, uh, some of the material that they were analyzing on the other instruments and use it for further uh, experimentation in the laboratory. Other labs have now taken on the technology and been utilizing it and using our services. So it's been a win-win situation all around, I think, for both us and, um, and the research groups. We use flow cytometry um, as an especially powerful technique for us at the flow cytometry shared resource at the Masada Cancer Center. Again, because of the throughput and the quantitation of the technology, we have some other techniques we can use, such as magnetic selections that we can do um, in our lab that are very high throughput, but we don't get the quantitative readout that we need. And we have uh, the ability to get the quantitative readout on each of the proteins we're analyzing, either at the analyzers at the flow cytometry uh, shared resource, or, and or using the, the sorters, predominantly the facts aria sorters at the shared resource, as again, especially powerful philosophy for us because we can differentiate between very minute differences from protein to protein and then sort out the exact protein that we want and the DNA that encodes for that particular protein. And so where the resource comes in especially handy is the training of the many students within my lab and our collaborators' labs that use this technology with us to be able to be trained on how to use that instrumentation on a daily basis. Um, and also then for the selections when the, the flow course staff um, directly interfaces on a daily basis with, with our team to help us do those uh, flow cytometry selections as, as well. And also from an experimental design perspective so that we design the experiments in the optimal way to be able to get as much information and efficiently get back the molecules we need to. That's where the, 
the core resources especially valuable to us.